down, uh, top, top, bottom, really, I don't know, really. quartz, quartz, yeah, oh, hey everybody, this is Sean with the Technophiles Newscast, the European Council for Nuclear Research is proposing to create an even larger particle accelerator than the Large Hadron Collider. The new tunnel system would be 100 kilometers or 73 kilometers larger than the Large Hadron Collider is right now. It would be so large that it would have to run under Lake Geneva in France. Not to be outdone in their aspirations, Americans are proposing an even larger 270 kilometer particle accelerator that would be based off of the abandoned tunnels that were started for the superconducting super collider based in Waxa... What? Waxa... Texas. Yeah. Sadly, an international project of this size probably won't happen in America. The SSC was shut down in 1993 due to budget cuts, and Fermilab's Tevatron, once America's largest particle accelerator, was shut down in 2011. A new diving suit known as the Exosuit is on display at the American Museum of Natural History. The suit is designed to allow divers to go 1,000 meters below sea level where they can reach bioluminescent fish like this little cutie. Also, this guy. The suit is going to be on display until March 5th, at which point it's going to be prepped for its maiden voyage with Michael Lombardi on the Stephen J. Barlow Blue Water Expedition. A new hack for Netflix allows you to control Netflix with your Fitbit. Fitbit can determine when you've fallen asleep, and when that happens, it sends a message to Netflix to pause what you're watching. If it's paused for long enough, Netflix will shut down and then bookmark the point at which you fell asleep. The hack was developed during Netflix Hack Day, a day where Netflix opens its doors to third-party developers to create new and exciting features by hacking the source code. There were a bunch of other hacks that Netflix decided to share with us. You can find them all in their entirety down below in the links. We're pretty big fans of gesture input here at Technophiles, and when I say we, I mean me. I mean, others might be into it and they might be excited, but I usually just don't give anybody else a chance to talk because gesture input. The newest gesture input device to hit Kickstarter is called the Ring Input Device. From the company Logbar Inc. in San Carlos, California, the ring can measure movements of your finger and is so detailed that you can even draw and it maps what you're drawing. You can even write by drawing letters in midair. The ring has been tested with multiple OSs, including Android, iOS, and various home control OSs. As well, it's been used with smartwatches, and so it's very, very versatile. You can also do things like change your music with hotkey gestures, and it will be up on Kickstarter until April 4th. It'll cost you $165 to get one, but that's totally cool with me, because gesture input. In our last bit of news, the Black Phone was released at Mobile World Congress with a price point of $629. The phone is dedicated entirely to your privacy, with features like encrypting all of your data, yes, all of it, and only decrypting data when you're actively using it. The Black Phone has a bunch of other privacy-oriented features, such as the fact that it can make your phone invisible to Wi-Fi. Normally, when your phone is active, it's pinging Wi-Fi routers, even when you're not actively connected to them. Those routers can then pull small bits of data that can be used to identify both who you are and where you've been. The Black Phone is a collaboration between Geek's Phone and Silent Circle, and co-founder Phil Zimmerman says, we are not a phone company adding a privacy feature. We are a privacy company selling a phone. I expect that this is going to be the first in a wave of niche, privacy-oriented tech devices that are aimed at keeping the NSA and other people like them as far away from you as possible. Links down in the description below. That is it for the Technophiles newscast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and as well, you can find us on various social media, Twitter, at TechnophilesPod, Facebook, Facebook.com slash TechnophilesPodcast, and you can find us on our website, TechnophilesPodcast.com. And let me know down in the comments below, would you be willing to put on the exosuit and go a thousand meters below sea level and see maybe a giant squid and some bioluminescent fish? Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.